Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up Kali Linux 2022 in VMware Workstation Pro 16. So Kali Linux 2022 is the latest release from Kali Linux. Now to get the installer file, the ISO image, we'll have to head over to the Kali Linux website. So the official website is kali.org. So let's go to the website. And here you will see the option to download. So let's click on download to go to the download page. Here you see that we have got various options for the platform for which we can install the downloader. So if you want to download for a bare metal, uh, we can we can get the downloader from the bare metal section. Then we have got downloader installers for, for virtual machines, for ARM chip, mobile devices, for cloud, live boot, containers, Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, and so on. So for us, we'll have to get the ISO from Lightboot. So click on Lightboot tile. And here you see that the interface has changed a bit. Here you'll see that we are into Lightboot and other op on top the options have actually changed, right? So if we scroll down, you'll see the options. What are your options to download? Let's say if I go to the mobile section, you can see you can see the downloaders for mobile devices. But for us, we'll have to get the downloader from Lightboot. So let's click on Lightboot, and here you'll see that you'll see the option to download for 64-bit and 34-bit, and for Apple M1. So Apple M1 is for MacBook, the latest um, the chip, Apple M1 chip, which is which is which comes shipped with uh, MacBook Pro. So if you have a MacBook, you can download the Apple M1 ISO image file. But for us, we would be using the 64-bit because I have a 64-bit system. So in this option, you would see there are two things. First, one is everything and the second is Kali 2021.1 point release live image. So everything contains all the packages that is available in Kali Linux. So if you have got sufficient bandwidth, you can go ahead with uh, everything. Or else, uh, or else you can try out the other one, which is the point release live image. This is about 3.5 GB. So for this installation, I would go ahead with everything. Let me go ahead and download it. So one thing you have to keep in mind is that everything is not available as a direct download for ISO. It is available only through torrent. So you will have to have torrent, uh, a torrent application on your system. Only then you would be able to download it. And for the uh, for the other one, Kali Linux 2021 point release, you can download it directly. So let me show you. So everything everything is about 10 GB, and Kali Linux point release live image is about 3.5 GB. Okay. So let me go ahead and then click on click on the download arrow for ISO torrent. You would see that there is so you see that the uh, the file has been downloaded. Let me click on the link. Okay, and here you see that that my tor my my mute torrent uh, program is actually open. So you can see Kali Linux 2021 live. It is about 10.6 GB. Let me go ahead. Okay, and then let me go ahead and then start downloading. So it would take some time. So we have to wait for the process to complete. So I will let this process uh, download continue. Okay, Kali 2021. So this is a live image and it does not contain all the packages so all the other packages you will have to download it yourself later on as you as you work on kali linux and uh, so let me go ahead click on download and let me show you how this uh, this will actually start up the iso image download download so let's let me wait a couple of seconds for the download to start now here you see Kali Linux 2021 live ISO image is start has started. So for this, you don't really need a torrent file, right? You do have a torrent option similarly, but directly you can download it from it. So let me wait and uh, wait for let me wait for the download to complete for the torrent. Now the file has been downloaded. So now you see this is a 10 GB file, 10.6. Let me go to my download folder and here you would see the downloaded file okay so now let's get started with the installation process 
Now let me open up VMware Workstation Pro and here click on create new virtual machine or you can also go to file and then new virtual machine. So the, the process would be the same. So let me click on create new virtual machine. Now leave it as typical, click on next. Here you will have to specify the location of the ISO image file. So let me uh, let me browse to the um, to the ISO image which is in my downloads folder. I would click on the ISO image, click on open. Now you see that could not detect the which operating system. No problem. Let me click on next. And here you will have to specify the Linux version. So let me click on Linux and then specify it as Debian. So Kali Linux is a Debian distribution. So let me choose let me choose Debian 10x64 bit. Okay, then click on next and then name the virtual machine. I will name it as Kali Linux 2022. Click on next. Right. And here let me give this uh, give this a disk space of 60 GB. And then leave this as it is, split virtual disk into multiple files. Click on next. Okay, now what we would do is that we would customize the hardware. So let me click on customize hardware. Now based on your system, right, you can actually choose how much uh, memory to allocate. So since I have got enough memory, let me go ahead with 8 GB. Alternatively, you can also go, go ahead with 4 GB. Okay. Then for processor, let me go ahead and then click on 2, 2. Like number of processors 2, number of cores 4. So I've got a, I've got i4, uh, I've got i7. So I'm allocating 4, 4 processor cores to it. Okay. And then I've got 23 GB RAM. So I can allocate 8 GB. Let's say if you've got 16 GB, go ahead with 4. Or if you've got 8 GB, go ahead with 2. So 2 is the default, so with 2 also it should work. Now let me click on close and click on finish to start the installation process. So now you see uh, what I have to do is to power on this virtual machine. So now this would go ahead and then start up the installer. So here, what I have to do is to click on the down button, right? And select start installer. Okay. And click enter. Now this would actually begin the installation process. Now you'll have to provide the options. So here, what we have to do is to first select the language. Click on English. You can choose language um, based on your location. Click on continue. Then again, you'll have to select your location. So I would leave it as United States or you can choose wherever you are. So based on this clock would actually be, be, um, be configured. So let me choose India, my location and then click on continue. Now configure the keyboard. So I would leave it as American English. Click on continue. Now here, here you have to provide the host name. So I can leave it as it is. You can either leave it as Kali or, or make up your something. So let me make it up as make up my own thing called example.com. So this example.com does not exist. Right? It is just for me. So click on continue. Now you will have to provide the, uh, the username, right? So let me give my name here. Okay. And then the username of the account, leave it as it is. Continue. Now I'll have to provide the password. 
okay so type your password and then confirm also with the same thing okay click on continue now you would see that it is configuring the clock so based on the location that you have selected the clock would be configured so let's wait Now in this case, you will have to select the partition. So here let me let me go with the first option, guided use entire disk, continue. And then again partition disk, leave it as it is, continue. Here also partition disk, select for partition, all, in, uh, all files in one partition. I'll go ahead and continue, click on continue, okay. Now finish partition and write changes to disk. Leave it as it is and click on continue. Now you want to, you have to, you'll have to click on yes to make changes. Then click on yes and click on continue. Now you see the installation has started. Now it will take some time. Let's wait for the process to complete. Now here you'll have to specify if we have to use the network mirror, right? So this is useful when you want to install packages. So use a network manager, click on yes. I mean, leave it as it is and then continue. So we can leave this blank, configure the packet manager, proxy information, we can leave this blank, continue. Now here you see that the group bootloader has started to install. So here we have to, here it is asking if we want to install the grub bootloader. Let the install, let, yes, so default, here the default is yes. Let's leave it as it is and click on continue. Now you'll have to specify where we want to, uh, where we want to install the, the grub loader. So here what we will do is that select as, uh, slash dev slash SDA and then we can click on continue. Now you see the installation is completing. Let's wait for some more time. Now you see that installation is complete. Now the system will actually boot. So we'll have to go ahead and click on continue to reboot. Now this is finishing the installation and after this, the system will reboot. Now this is the grub loader. You can click, you can actually press enter or wait for three seconds. Now you'll see that Kali Linux is actually getting loaded. Now in some time you would see the login screen. Now this is the login screen for Kali Linux 2022. Now enter your username that you set during installation. So I'll put, I will enter the username that I created and the password. So this is the password that you use during installation process. Now click on login. Now that's it. Here you see the latest Kali Linux home screen. Now let's see if you are able to switch to full screen mode. Now click on this icon over here, enter full screen mode. And then here you see that we have success successfully been able to move to or switch to the full screen mode. Now let me go ahead and then open up the terminal. Now at this point, your root password is actually not set. So you won't be able to use Use the use it use the root user. You won't be able to log in as root user until unless you have entered or um, you have provided the you have set up the root password. So let's go ahead and then create the root password. To, now to create the root password, what we have to do is to open up the terminal and then and then switch to 
Now switch to the root user. Enter sudo su, right? And password. So my the username that we actually set up, the user that we set up initially has got sudoer access by default. Okay, so now we have moved. We have we have uh, we are we are we are into the terminal as as a root user. And now to set the password, enter p a s s w d password. This will allow us to reset the password for the root user. Now enter the new password. Confirm, and then we have to reset the new password. Now let me go ahead and exit. Okay, now let me show you how to log in as root. So let me go ahead and then let me say that uh, switch user. So when I click on switch user, I'll be moved back again, back again to the login screen. Here I will enter as root and here I'll set to use the password that I, that I set up and that's it. Um, I'll be actually logging in as the root user. So this is a brand new Kali Linux 2022. We can actually click on click on this unpin to hide the taskbar, VMware taskbar, and here we are using. Now here we can see all the tools that we have actually installed here. Now this is I'm now I'm logged in as the root user. So thanks everyone for watching this video.